And this is where the Rainbow Road smile, smile, smile warm up session has led me to. E Hello, everyone, and welcome to another stamina video. So, I decided on this one. I was originally intending to play an 18, but because I was playing so much lately, my legs are feeling. Eh, eh, so, I was like, eh, I don't know if I feel like going that hard to finish off the day. So, I'll do the 17. That looks within my alley, and that turned out to be Signal Girl's vocal mix. I guess I've never played it before, but <laughs> what the, what the crossover. Yeah, what? What a crossover? What? What is this? What is all black magic? Anyway, <laughs> so as you can tell by the graph, 180 throughout for the most part. There's a little spike up. Where there's a whole bunch of 12th notes, see that 13.5 peak notes per second, but other than that, it's 12 notes per second, like what you're seeing here. Um, you can always tell the speed of something, that, like if it's using 16th notes, every 15 BPM is one whole note in notes per second, basically, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so as you know, as I said, feeling pretty tired from all the playing. So how how the poop do you get yourself through something like this then when you're feeling that tired? Well, it's not maybe so much about how as it is picking something that is up your alley. And that's what I plan on talking about this particular stamina video dealio here. Like I you know, I have a talking about various topics of the stamina video and in this case this is one that I felt like I had, you know, like I, I was handling this sort of speed, and I figure that, well, even though that I'm tired, 180 is still in that relatively comfortable BPM range that I was talking about. Remember I said that uh, the comfortable top spot is like 170 to 180, and thus I picked the 180 here. <laughs> and since I'm playing something that's within my regular comfort capabilities here, I figured, yeah, it should be pretty doable, even though that I'm pretty tired, and sure enough, it most certainly is. And yeah, there's a lot of it, as you can see on the graph, but that, that's a part of the thing of, you know, getting to know your own abilities, is that it, the more you play, the more you'll notice, oh yeah, I, I can do this, seemingly no matter how tired I am. It's, it's very weird, in, in this case, it's, 170 to 180 at max for me, or anything lower too, of course, but unless it's like excessive in length or something too, that, that's another thing. Although I'm tempted to play that really long, uh, uh, low BPM 18 just to see how I would fare against it, but ah, uh, it seems like it'll take me a while to do and it's gonna be very tiring <laughs> throughout based on what it looks like. And yeah, yeah, but we'll, we'll see how things go with that one. But for now, let's focus on this song. So as you can see by the graph, that big peak is gonna be coming pretty soon here. It's, it's not that damaging, I guess you could say, to the dance gauge if you can't hit it all. It's just, yeah, it's just a little burst there. And it gives you a smidge of a break, which is not really a break whatsoever. And then it goes into 161 measures of 180 beats per minute. Uh, if I recall correctly, there's also like a little little one of those bursts in the middle of it, kind of, maybe. Not not so much in terms of increasing the notes per second. In fact, there's like a little tiny skip of a break in between the bursts. So it evens out to still be 12 notes per second at this time, hence why the graph isn't really, yeah, isn't, isn't really going up at any point after that. If I remember correctly. So as for those little speed-ups there, they aren't nearly as threatening as you would think that they are. Like, you'd think that it would make your dance gaze drop or, uh, you know, you'd lose your sync, but no, not, not really, unless they're excessive. Like, that they keep throwing off your timing repeatedly, because you could miss probably the whole segment of purples, you know, purple twelves in those short bursts like that, and it still wouldn't make much of a dent in your dance gauge. Of course, it would affect your score a little bit, but even so, not that much, so... Yeah, it's, it just seemed like something something that was doable, regardless of what that peak notes per second said, because I, I seen the graph, 
It looked looked all doable. I was like, okay, I'll I'll go through it. And sure enough, everything is working out pretty nicely. Although due to the tiredness, you see me dropping combo fairly often, but then recovering right away, dropping combo again, recovering, yada yada yada. But I'm still staying relatively in sync despite the tiredness, so yeah, it's like any any sort of songs in this BPM range it's gonna be right up my alley and I, I bet you when you find something in a BPM range that's right up your alley, you're gonna find yourself getting consistent and good scores on those as well. So you might even find yourself being able to play stuff at higher difficulty levels at said comfortable BPMs for you. Like, we'll say that you're comfortable as is also 180 for some reason, and you play a 13 that's at 180, you're like, okay, I can, I can do this, but then you play a 14 at 180, and you're finding, oh yeah, I can do this too, it was a little bit more tightened by the end, then you jump over to the 15, and like, oh yeah, I can still do this, but I'm kind of panting, but I can still do it. <laughs> and the more you zero into that BPM, uh, the longer your longevity will be. I guess longer longevity is kind of a kind of a saying the same thing twice there. But anyway, <laughs> you get what I mean. In that, you know, the more the more you play at your favorite BPM, the more you'll be able to handle it, and uh, thus the more songs you'll be able to play in said BPM per day. And yeah, so even if you think that you're out of energy, maybe you still got the energy for something that's in your range, you know? Something that you feel comfortable with, because it feels more like that you are able to just kind of coast through it, compared to pushing yourself at something higher, for instance. And yeah, just see what you can do, enjoy yourself, if you can't do it, as I said before, you'll just fail out and you can come back to it another day, no big deal, but you know, just try stuff, see how things go. Yeah, I'm really tired today. Maybe I should stop now. <laughs> Give my body a break. I mean, I passed it and that was a pretty good score, but I shouldn't be that winded from 180. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Decent timing, though. See, it gravitated a bit towards the early side again. <laughs>